Hi everyone, I want to explain a few things about the exam we are going to do. In the exam, this process is going to happen. Uh, you must have two, three empty papers ready, two, three pens, pencils ready. So in the exam time, I will be recording for all the exam. And in the camera, your face, your hands, and your paper should be visible. You must arrange before we start. So this one, a good example, this one, this one and this one. So I can see face, hands and paper. So in this one, I don't see your paper. So that's not a good one. I don't see your paper, that's not a good one. And I don't see your face, this is not a good one. So if you have such thing, I may call you to school to make the exam. So I tried to get this angle on my own. There, uh, in the previous exam, there were some students who couldn't do that. So I tried to do it as you will try. So you will have such tables in home. So there are a few examples that I did. I used some books to get the angle. Later, I did cut a small box to get the angle. So then I used that small desks small table, sorry. Then again, small tables. So you must have two devices with you. One to record the lesson and you will have a phone in here to send me the pictures. And you will use this phone only to send pictures in the beginning and at the end. So to get the angle, when I tried it with phone, it was a lot easier. When I tried with my notebook, it was a bit harder. So another example. So I did cut a small box like this. So then, when you start the exam, I want to see what kind of place you have. Did you put anything around? So that's why you will send me a small short video, like 15 seconds, something like that. And then in this video, I'm going to show you a number on my screen over there, like 175 is a random number. So I will be able to know that you recorded it when I started. Also, you will also write this number on your paper and right under your name. And you will send me uh, the pictures of the empty papers. And you will show the empty papers to the camera over there. Then you will start writing the questions. When you start writing the questions, you will be looking at computer and your paper. After you finish writing the questions, you should start solving the examples. So in this time, you should look at only to your paper. You mustn't look at anywhere else. You mustn't look at anywhere else. So then after you finish uh, the exam, you will again uh, send me the pictures of those papers. You will also show them to the camera over there. So later I'm going to compare if they are the same papers or not. Thanks for listening.